Hey guys, James here today and welcome to another house building video here in The Sims 4. This is actually gonna be a starter home. Spunky starter as it is named. It's a very spunky little house. Um, I, st I started off because I wanted to do like a, a modern home. Uh, a little modern starter home. I, I thought it'd be a little bit of fun, so that's what I started off doing. I couldn't I, I couldn't quite figure out what shape I wanted to go for, uh, as you can see here. I was trying to do something a little bit sort of adventurous, especially with the roof. I, I, what happens again is I spend so much time on the roof like I did in the last build. I mean, this build's only like 10 minutes, but you know. I spend so much time on the roof that... Um, I just can't get it how I want it. So in the end, I'm like, nah, screw this. I'm just going to change the shape of the building to match the roof. Um, I was saying this earlier on, uh, I don't know, I can't remember where I was saying it, but I, I mentioned that I always design my house, like I always design the outside of my houses before doing the interior. And that often creates like sort of weird kind of interiors, which you will definitely see in this one. I had to do um, a little bit of... Uh, the layout's a little bit weird, but you know, it works. Because I really wanted to do, as you can see now, I've changed the house. I really wanted to do a, di a diagonal part of the house, and that's what I've done. And then I had to figure out how to get these roofs to work together, because diagonal roofs uh, in The Sims 4 are still as annoying as they were in Sims 3. They're definitely less annoying in The Sims 4 uh, than they were in The Sims 3. In The Sims 3, diagonal roofs, you just don't, you don't want to go there in The Sims 3. You just didn't want to go there in The Sims 3 at all, but... Uh, I mean, it's kind of, it's pretty similar now, but it's a little bit easier to sort of get them to work together. But you can see how long it is taking me to, to sort of do all this. This video is um, playing back at four times speed, in case you're wondering. So it's four times uh, faster than I actually did it. Uh, so it took me a little bit longer in reality, obviously. But um, going with a different approach here, I thought maybe this would be a better idea. Get a sort of... Uh, Little like regular roof, and I, I always forget the names of roofs. I'm not an architect. I don't know what they're called. Uh, I don't know. There's gable. There's half gabled. I think the gabled one. I don't know. Anyways, whatever. Um. Anyways, just doing some little accents on the roof. Now this is going to be a starter home, which means that it is actually supposed to be it cost less than twenty thousand dollars um in total, and that's. Uh, that's my goal. So the house does end up costing less than 20000 You can see the price up the top center of the screen as well. You can watch that the entire time so you can see it there. I kept that open for the majority of the video so that you could see it. Uh, and I think I might do that from now on as well because when I'm building videos, if I, if I remember to do it anyways. Uh, just adjusting those little roof eaves there so we get a nice little, uh, little sort of detail roof on the back. Uh, and I'm just going around and adding some nice white roof trims. Now, because I wanted this to be a nice modern house, I did a nice smooth roof. Went for a grey roof with a white trim, because I thought it looked quite, you know, quite swish, quite spunky. Ho oh, ho, that's the name of the house. Uh, and then I went for like this sort of teal aqua colour. I, I don't know. I'm not, I don't know the names of colours. I don't know. Is it tealy aqua? I guess it's more tealish. I don't know. Anyways, I went with that color because I thought it looked cool and I hadn't used it yet in the game. Uh, and then I wanted to do a little bit of contrast with that and did some masonry on that sort of diagonal extension and the little roof details up the top there. Um, and I thought that looked pretty cool. And then at, at this point I realized I didn't like the, the rotation of the house so I decided to rotate it. Uh, just choose a better better orientation, which I I love the feature that I can move the entire house, like honestly. It's it's so much more useful than you could ever know. If you're not a builder and and you don't build that much, then I, you don't understand the scope of that tool and how amazing it is to have. To be able to move and rotate an entire house after you've built it is so amazingly handy. I love it. Uh, now, I've added a one-step high foundation, and I've just painted it white so that it adds a little bit more detail to the house, and it also matches like the roof trimming on the top. So you've got the, the white roof trim and the white sort of uh, foundation of the house. And because it's only one step high, you're, you don't actually need to put any stairs there. Your sims will be able to walk into the front door without sort of any stairs at all, um, which is really, really cool. So I'm just trying to find a door that would actually fit here nicely, because I wanted a door in the center at the front of the house, but there was none that fit that well. Uh, so I ended up going with this door and I chucked it on the side, but I do move that in a couple of minutes because I couldn't get the windows where I wanted them to be. And I was trying to put windows up the top there, but I couldn't get an even sort of placement of windows. I thought it would have been cool to see like a little, a thin window up the top there. Could have been nice, but you know, they didn't fit properly. So I was like, nope. And this is where I'm trying to get a window next to the door. I wish we could place two windows on one wall segment, but that's not something that's currently possible. Right there, when I placed heaps of random windows, I was trying to glitch them to do just that. Did not work, <laughs> unsurprisingly. Uh, so I'm just going around the house, putting uh, lots of windows. Uh, I was trying to figure out 
Because I, at this point, I didn't know the layout of the house, so that's why I didn't know what I was doing with windows. And that's why I've jumped in the house to do the layout. So on the left there in the diagonal part is going to be the, the bedroom. And then we have the bathroom right next to it, which I'm doing now. It's basically a, a, like, and, and then, um, and then that room on the right is the kitchen. And then where you enter the house is the sort of living area. Pretty standard layout, nothing too extraordinary there. It's not an ensuite bathroom, it's just a regular sort of bathroom because it's only a one bedroom house. You don't really need an ensuite. Uh, just adding a small deck out the back, just, you know, why not? Because we can afford it. We got a little bit of money to spare. I was going to do a little curve on there, but the piece was a little too big. So um, <laughs> I was like, nope. Um, yeah, just choosing the nose slate floor tiling there. And now I can go around and do windows because I know what the rooms are going to be. I want nice small windows for the bathroom and large windows for the bedroom. Uh, I, I still spent a while trying to choose some windows there because the, they didn't... I don't know, I, I need more variety of windows. I need like an expansion pack or something, like now. <laughs> There's not enough content. I need more. Oh, it's always the way. Though. Even in Sims 3 now, there's not enough content. I say that, but there's tons of stuff. Um... But there's, there's never enough. There's never the one thing I always want. There's always one thing when I'm doing a build where I'm just like, I wish I had that right now, but it doesn't exist. It's always the way. I'm never going to be satisfied. <laughs> anyway, so we've gone around and done all the windows there. I uh, just moved the post box there. I was going to do a, a, I just, well, I was, I mean, I did do a little fence out the front. A little, I, I thought it looked kind of nice. There's no, there's no real point of it because obviously it's just a, a single fence. I did, I would have done a fence all the way around probably, but you know, it's a starter home. I don't have that much money. I use these light wood floorboards that I used in my last build. I'm loving them. I didn't want to use them again, but they're too perfect. I love those floorboards. They're so nice. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but I really like those light uh, floorboards. It's beautiful. Uh, so we did some basic stuff. I used diagonal uh, tiles in the, the bathroom because, you know, the bathroom's on a diagonal sort of build. So then they look straight. So I thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> uh, just going around placing some wall light. It's always difficult to choose lights in this because um, a lot of the lights are really, really dim. Um, and a lot of people have said this as well, and I hope they, they sort of patch that because um, obviously the cheaper lights are dimmer. But, you know, the problem is when a cheap light is so dim that you can't see anything in the house, it's completely pointless. So you have to end up putting in millions of lights. I, I tend to do wall lights more often because, because I have to place so many lights. Doing wall lights is better because when you're playing the game, you don't actually see them because of the walls are down. So I tend to think that's a better option than uh, going for the ceiling light. Because if you have a million ceiling lights, that always just annoys me and they get in the way, personally. Um, I obviously put one ceiling light in the kitchen. That's usually my exception room. I'll put a ceiling light in there because I think it deserves it. Speaking of the kitchen, here we are now. We're doing the kitchen uh, using the cheapest counters, of course, because we've got to save a little money at this point. We're already at $16,000, uh, and we don't really have that much spare cash, considering we've got to furnish the entire rest of the house, like the living area and all that. Um, so we've got the stove in, the kitchen sink, a fire alarm, of course. I, I tend to always remember them now because of all the times I always forget them. I was going to do a little cabinet above the fridge, but it looked a little too big. Uh, and I used this uh, corner cabinet from a different set, uh, because it was like on a diagonal, I thought that looked quite nice. Just having a little corner cabinet there. Um, if you want to know how to get all those special pieces, I have done a tutorial. Uh, it's called The Sims 4 Tutorial Number 1 Advanced Counter Placement. And that'll tell you how to get all the different counters and how to use them, which is really cool. A small little breakfast table, a nice glass table. Um, while I do like a lot of the objects in this game in, in terms of because they're quite contemporary, a lot of them are very, very blocky. Uh, and a lot of people have said that I would love to see more natural looking furniture. Because I mean, like, that sofa there, it is the cheapest sofa, but it is so square and there's like, it's just, it's just too square. Like, it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't, doesn't gel with me. It's not as spunky as I would like, one might say. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, I don't know. I would love to see a, a larger variety of furniture. But of course, that will come with expansions and, and I guess, um, I don't know. I don't even know if they're doing a store. I don't know what the I don't know what the story with it that is. I've got no idea. Um, I presume they would, but they haven't mentioned anything about it. Uh, so we're just finishing up the exterior of the house now. I've got a little bit of spare cash here, so I did a couple of plants. Um, when you move into this house, you will only have like nine hundred and thirty-eight dollars left. Um, so you're probably going to want to get a job like immediately. You will not have enough money to live. Um, if that's something you're concerned about, then probably don't move into this house straight away. Uh, but yeah, here we are on the screenshots. So to finish it off, here's a front of that shot of the house. There's a couple of front shots of the house. 
And there's the front door there. I really, I really like the way this turned out for such a small, simple house, especially because it's a starter home as well. I think it looks really nice, personally. So, of course, if you want to download this, you can uh, go to the gallery and grab it off of my profile. If you don't know how to find me, um, all you have to do is search my origin ID, which is the Sim Supply. Make sure you use capitals for T and Sim and Supply, because otherwise I won't come up. And if you're really that stuck, I did do a very short video on it earlier today. Or if you're watching this in the future, I don't know, you're gonna have to find it on the channel, it's somewhere. Um, but yeah, you can find it on my on my gallery profile. Uh, yeah, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I, I started that outro a little too early. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, bathroom. And then we see the floor plan as the last shot coming up now. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time, and I hope you guys have an awesome day.